So welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your eighth incredible tutorial in the Basic Trig series. Today we'll be looking at congruent triangles, what they are and how they differ from your commoner garden variety of triangle. Like the last one, this is yet another easy tutorial. No calculations, but don't be lulled into a false sense of security. There is some he really heavy stuff on the horizon coming your way soon. Congruent triangles are not just exact copies of each other. As you can see from this diagram, the mirror image of a, of a triangle is also congruent with the original. But generally, two triangles are said to be congruent if one of the following five conditions is met. One, SSS, three sides are the same. The three sides of the first triangle are equal to the three sides of the second triangle. Two, SAS, two sides and one angle are the same. Two sides of the first triangle are equal to two sides of the second triangle and the included angle, angle is equal. Condition three, ASA, two angles and one side are the same. Two angles in the first triangle are equal to two angles in the second triangle and the side included by the angles is also equal. Condition four, two angles and one side are the same, AAS. Two angles in the first triangle are equal to two angles in the second triangle, but the common side is not between the angles. It is similarly located on both triangles. Condition five, RHS or ASS, two sides, one the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle are the same. In a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse and one other side in the triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and a corresponding side in the second triangle. Now you might be asking yourself, why can this set of conditions, ASS, where the angle is not included between the sides, why can this not be used for, the, for other triangles? What is so special about a right angled triangle? Well, this diagram might help. Here we are with an ordinary triangle. It has one side AB with a given angle of theta degrees at one end A and at the other end B, another side BC free to rotate, like so. Now, if this arrangement is used to verify that two triangles are congruent, then you should only be able to make one triangle, right? Well, if I just rotate this free arm, I make this acute triangle ABC. But if I rotate it a bit further, uh-oh, I make another triangle ABC, a different triangle, an obtuse triangle. So the condition ASS is clearly no good to declare triangles congruent. Two different triangles can be made from the same information. Unless, of course, you have a right angle triangle as the given angle. In this diagram, you can see that if we keep one side AB static and rotate the other side BC with a right angle at the end C, there's only one triangle that can be made, triangle ABC. So this is an okay method for congruency. But remember, the condition angle side, side ASS, only applies to right angle triangles. Hope that helps. If you want to play with these ideas, both these GeoGebra constructions are free to download as GGB files from the website. And now for some problems. Prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD. Well, side BD is common to triangle ABD and triangle BCD. Angle ABD equals angle BDC, alternate angles. Angle ADB equals angle DBC, alternate angles again. Hence, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD. The condition angle side angle is in common, ASA. 
AB and CD are diameters of the circle passing through the centre O. Prove the triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COB. Well, OA equals OB, which equals OC, which equals OD. They're all radii of a circle. Angle AOD equals angle BOC. These are vertically opposite angles. Hence, triangle AOD is congruent to triangle COB. We have side, angle, side, all in common. SAS. AB is a diameter of the circle. If BC equals BD, prove that triangle ABC is congru congruent with triangle ABD. Well, side BC equals BD, given. AB is common, it's the hypotenuse. Diameter AB subtends a right angle on the circumference at C and D. Angle ADB equals angle ACB, which equals 90 degrees. Hence, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. We have a right angle, hypotenuse, and a side, RHS. And that's all, folks. The next tutorial is on Pythagoras' theorem, so at last you get a dust off your calculator. I think it would be time well spent finding where the right keys are for squaring numbers and getting their square root. Anyway, thank you for all watching this tutorial. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.